For me, photography is like a passport. It allows me to go anywhere and to meet anyone. It gets you in places that other people may not have ever had any reason to be in. My name's Elias. I'm a photographer from Dublin and uh, I'm co-founder and editor of Junior Magazine. I think it took a number of activities to reach photography, I guess. It seemed very easy at the time when I started, but uh, soon when the challenges started to arise, when I started to specify what I wanted to, to photograph, I started to realize that this was something that I really responded to and something that I really wanted to do kind of for the rest of my life, I guess. After a while, I kind of found that people were the most challenging thing to photograph. I think over the last, I think probably five years has been that journey of, I guess, developing what I want to photograph and how I want to show people. Uh, there was a time, I think it was about three years ago, that I took stock of everything that I'd, I'd done already. I realized that what I wanted to do was to make true photographs and to make honest portraits. It being an image, I want the subject to be the thing that somebody sees rather than an image itself. I shoot fashion and portrait. Because my original background is in a portrait and, and, and in a way documentary, I think my fashion is very much informed by, by portraits. Taking any of my photos, I think I would mostly gravitate towards uh, being able to enter somebody's space or somewhere that is at least in some way slightly meaningful to them. I like lots of natural light. I shoot on film. Uh, most lately I've been shooting on medium format film with an 80 millimeter lens. So you can really take these portraits close up, really close up to the face where you've blown out the background completely. And then you offset that with, I do a lot of environmental shots. So to have that, the person almost isolated within their space and then details of the actual space itself is kind of what I've been exploring lately. You'll get such a huge, a myriad reaction from people. With models and, and musicians generally, because models know how to meet you in the middle and musicians have a really strong identity already, it's much easier to, to get them to work with you. Even though I, I said I, I, I shoot the truth, I think you do still have to work with somebody to get something specific out of them. Even with my documentary um, projects, I will write the start of the story. I'll choose my subject and I'll choose a place or what I want to focus on, but I can't write the rest of what happens because it has to present itself. To photograph something, uh, you have to be part of it. When I do my longer documentary projects, I now try and become part of the scene. I did a project in London two years ago at Stockwell Skate Park, and it took me weeks, a whole summer basically, to, to get a series of portraits and, and images from the place. My problem was that I didn't skate at the time, and I think now if I skated, or if I joined in in the activity and became part of the scene, then it would have been a much quicker process. There isn't a fear for me of being biased towards or against a subject. Going into it uh, with the view of telling a story, I think that really grounds me as what my role is. So even though I'm part of the group, hopefully, uh, I still play the role of a photographer. The minute that you frame something and that you choose where to stand and where to point, you've immediately put your stamp on it. That, that decision process goes all the way through. So your decisions of what you shoot, where you shoot, how you frame somebody, all the way to how you edit and how you position the photographs really has a huge effect on how people see your story. When I'm on the field photographing, I I really try and just focus on what's happening now. The, the, the wider view of, of the story comes then in the editing process and looking at the images afterwards. I almost try and forget the image itself on the day of shooting. 
I've been kind of focusing a lot on tribes and cultures and subcultures lately, in the last two years, I guess, from skaters to uh, butchers and tattoo artists, and now the teens at the central bank, kind of like shaping an identity that potentially may not, <laughs> probably won't stick with them. But I think it's really important to have this identity while they're young. I gravitated towards photographing people because it made me uncomfortable and uh, it made me excited because it was uncomfortable and that it was something that was really challenging to me. I think, I think what's important to me in photography is the connection between the viewer and the subject. So I want somebody to see one of my photographs and be kind of intrigued and, and, and feel like, feel something personal. <laughs>